Welcome to Scott's Comics and Collectibles. So, it's Sunday. It's boot fair day. The rain hasn't been too good last night, so the, one of the biggest boot sales has been, which I still go to now, has been cancelled. They said the field's too wet. They cancelled it late last night. Uh, so I drove around a little bit looking for other boot sales. I have found the smaller boot sale that I usually go to. I usually do my second pickup video from. Uh, it is open. However, there is about eight cars only waiting to go into the field. So I'm just going to sit this out for a moment in the car, see what happens because nothing's really moving and if they're going to open the field. If they do, I'll go in. It may be a very short video though, given the amount of cars that are there. But I will still film it and still put some footage out. So hopefully I'll find some good things. Uh, I'm going to roll with the video now. Let's just go live to the boot sale footage. So guys, even worse than what I said. So I'm standing outside. There was eight cars. It's mostly about 10 now. Three of them are sellers. The rest are buyers and they are parked in the car park. So there's literally three cars and that is it. This could be a shocking day. Uh, but we're going we're gonna to stay here for a little while because it's the only thing that's on. So uh, yeah, bear with me. This morning, not a lot. Have <laughs> uh, one just waiting. Just gonna film this bit, guys. But it's like a nice morning, and it's not dark due to the clocks going backwards. All right. Turn this off and let some more people get in. Uh, three pounds for that. Thank you. Give me a minute because there are a lot of people and I've got to keep a lot of eyes everywhere. Do you want to sell it? Yeah, yeah. How much for your tangle? I've found. Yeah, I was going to say, we can't pull it out if you're all here, babes. So, how much for your bars? Oh, the bars. I want a fiver on. Fiver. Right. How much is a handbag? Pound. Right, so I've got three, seven, ten, twelve quid. Give you eight for them? No, twelve quid at the beginning, so. Really? Yes. Have <laughs> That one, darling, has another bit to it. Yeah. It's got an egg on. Been for the How much are your DVDs? Five of them, okay. babes. That's all right. Can you leave, please? Hey, leave it. Do you think you can get too much? You've got a little tape there, love. Got a tape. No, ten. George, how much for your hat? Two pounds. Two pounds for the hat. There's a load of handbags Five somewhere. Five after that one, The price is on there, darling. I mean, if you want to Google how much they're still going for, you can do that, because that's what I did. I think they've all got um, prices on their PlayStation. Two pounds. Just a little bit more strict. Why? Six. <coughs> Six. Nine. 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 Six. Thanks, darling. Right, stop now. Back off. No, seriously, back off. 
I get all the both. It's not the streets. Yeah. 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 as well, you know. Did you want that? How much is it? That's a fiver. Uh, for those, that will be a fiver. That one, babe, half price. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, shove them in from there, baby. Shall we, darling? Take four. What for that? Go on, then, darling. I'll take those ones. That's right. You want all of those? Yes, please. Thank you. Four. I don't know who's that one. Who's this one? For that, three quid. Right. So, four, seven, ten. 13, 16, 19, darling. Okay, okay you want a bag or your own? Right? You've got a bag. Somewhere. Sun shoes. What ones? This one. All of this and these flip flops. The sandals. So, how much for the bag? Oh, I'm going to tag them on that bag because that was 40. That's 20, 19. Right. I'm, I'm going to take right. this one as well. Oh, I'm going right. to give you two. All right then. Yep. Cool. Thank you, babe. No, that's right. There you go. Thanks Try and bring all lot. change as well. <laughs> thank you. Cheers, thank you. George, in that bag is the bag. Here you go. Sorry, I'm going to take that one as well. Oh, all right, love. All right then. Yep, thank Cheers, you, thank you. Bye. So, you guys would have seen about 22 quid all in for these. Uh, should get my money back on that, I'm hoping, and then, but yeah, see what happens. How much is your book? Huh? How much is your book? Pound. Okay, yeah, I'll take that. Cheers, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, you smashed it, isn't it? Goosebump. Just looking at that as well. Your goosebump thing. I don't know. I was looking around for you. Uh, There's another one there for you if you want. See, it's just there. No, no. I've got them out for you. I don't know what you had in it. Oh, <laughs> go on. Uh, Cheers. Twenty-five for each. Money, last. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Careful. Yeah, I need about eight now. Do you? Yeah. If you see any mini disc stuff, let me know. Yeah, yeah, mini disc, yeah. Yeah. All right. See ya. Cheers. Any of the 2000s in this. Got no arm. Oh no, but this is, this is 
I'll say these two, 25 are they? Yeah. Alright. It's got to be 20, mate. 30. 160 pounds in the shop. You, you read that up. Here you go, I got a pound. That's right. Thank you. I don't know what I was setting up today. Oh, Can we make sure all the stuff goes on here instead of the mud, please? Thank you. Oh, thank you. No, that's all right. Don't worry about it. No, no, that's all right. Don't worry about it. <coughs> right, when you see these, you usually got to pick them up. Uh, hopefully, you don't want too much of them. I'm just going to go around and look at it. It's battered, but it's a good pickle. Hey, all right. How much have you got on? Have you got any of the footballs, or is it just come no, as is? Oh, just okay. But on the eBay, you can buy the footballs for ninety nine p. Okay. Oh, how much have you got on it? I've got thirty on that. Okay. All right. Cheers. Thank you. Much appreciated. I'll leave it for thirty. Sorry, mate, how much is your PlayStation? Just by any chance. Uh, depends if you want it with the games. Uh, how much on its own? If it was on its own, how much uh, is it? Yeah, t uh, one controller, the lead, and the computer, uh, 50. Okay, cheers, I've thank you. Yeah. Alright, cheers. Excuse me, how much is your Yeah. 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 Oh, how much is this, by any chance? Okay, so how much is the close-up one? £2. Okay, yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, just how much is the £2. Do you have any of the toys that go... Well. Sorry, have you got any toys that go with it, or is it just the spaceship, I guess? Just the spaceship, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think there is little pockets inside, so there is some little bits. Oh, here you go. That's it. Cheers, thank you. Oh, 
Yeah. Who's that now? Uh, refresh car. Racing car. Racing car? Yeah. How much is it? It ain't bad, is it? No. Yeah. How much? Sorry, how much is this? That's, that's good value, I know. That one. That's good value. Okay, cheers. Let me get this. There, there. Good one. <laughs> oh, it's broke. I have to open that up. I don't know how I figured out that one. How much is the uh, buzz? And buzz is a tenner. And what about this little? F He's a fiver. Okay. Here he is. He ain't got Andy on the foot either. No. that back on three pound let's take that Sorry, you say three pound for that one? I must have five of that. One. Okay. I wouldn't put them on the floor. Over you, oh, sorry, yeah, sorry. go on. Cheers, go on. Okay. Oh, sorry. Right. Yeah, it's me just trying to pull some yeah. aggro.
Hey, I just went through those. <laughs> no, not that I know of anyway. It's only the one card I look out for. I like it. The retirement piece. <laughs> no, no, let, let us young. Let, let, let okay. us young. Okay. We do I mean, I gave Namir a problem. Let, 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 let. Ah, she says, I say, 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 I Okay, oh, thank you. Welcome back to Scott's Comics and Collectibles. As you can maybe hear, it is absolutely bucketing down with rain and it's literally just after eight o'clock. Uh, went to the, and I'm just gonna give you a little bit of an overview of this. And maybe you can't see it that good with the camera, but it's absolutely bucketing down. And the camera's a little wet, so. Went to the boot sale, it did open. It looked like there was only eight stalls to begin with. Turned into about, I want to say up to about 30 stall sellers come in the end. Some okay pieces, some good pieces. Weather more than likely did put off some people. Did find out as I was walking around that apparently the big boot sale I go to, at the last minute they changed their minds and they just turned it on and said, we're gonna have it. Don't know how successful that was, but no doubt uh, some other guys that go to that boot sale will put videos out if there was anything decent. Uh, yeah, so let me go through what I picked up and I know you guys would have seen it on the video So first store I went to and there's a lot of people hovering around there was a Well three ladies that were selling a load of different bits and pieces clothing and then they pulled out loads of uh, PlayStation 4 games So I thought right let me go and look quickly take a look see what they've got as I'm looking another gentleman and there's another gentleman They've all just picked up piles which is fair enough everyone does it uh the prices were on the games and i'm not gonna be, um the pricing in my eyes was very very reasonable some games were two pounds some games were three pound and there's one game that was four pound now that being said a lot of people were trying to haggle straight away literally within two minutes of getting in there these guys setting up they weren't having it they wanted the prices that are on the game i felt the prices were fair anyway uh and i did not have some of these decent games that I've got in this pile because another gentleman had them in his hand, which you, you should see in the video. Because she wouldn't, because they, she, well, because he wanted to haggle and she wasn't having it, he put all the games back. Uh, which I thought it was crazy because I thought there was still some good games there. 
for the prices that he could have gotten for. So all in, I believe I'm about 21 pounds. Nine eight, yeah, uh, 21 pound, 21 pound for everything here. So I can't believe the guy put this back. I don't know what the trading is now. Uh, the two discs are all in it, it looks fresh. So four pound, I think he tried to say, oh look, I'll give you two, I'll give you two. And I don't know why, I, you know, if she's not gonna have it and she's told you no twice, I don't know why you'd keep going back. But yeah, then he said to me, look, you might as well take it if you want it, it's a good game. Uh, of course, I'm gonna take it for four pound. So I took Red, Red Dead Redemption 2. I took it for two pound, The Evil Within Us 2. I'm not too sure if that's got a great sell on value now, but picked it up. Don't know much about this game, picked it up. Raid, World War 2. Metal Gear Solid 5. I don't think this has got a good, I think this is an old game. So, uh, cause it's one of the PlayStation hits, but I picked it up anyway. Uh, Call of Duty, cause they usually have a good sell on anyway. So I picked up Call of Duty, Infinity Warfare, and it's got the Modern re uh, modern Warfare remastered. So you pick that up. Wolf Wolfenstein, I do like these kind of games like Doom, uh, this style. So I picked that up and that'll just be for me to be fair. Uh, again, this is for me. So Zombie Army Trilogy, don't know anything about this game at all uh but i looked on the back and I'm, I'm gonna be honest when i saw the four characters my favorite game is left for dead and when i saw the four characters and i saw zombies i thought in my eyes nothing's gonna live up to left for dead but i'm gonna give it a go it re it's got similarities to it so pick that up and then the last one that was there which was a little bit away from all the games it's under some clothes and i'm surprised no one picked it up uh, and yep, she wanted three pound for this one as well. Was Spyro trilogy? So it's got Spyro. Oh, it's too early in the morning. I haven't got my glasses on, but I can't see the games. But yeah, it's got three games on there, original games remastered. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. And I reckon there's more of a sell on just for those alone. Then I met up with someone else who goes to the boot sales weekly and we've been chatting quite a bit. I know they watch the channel uh, and they pick up loads of awesome bits and pieces. A lot of gaming, a lot of toys, uh, a lot of board games, etc. A lot of pop culture bits and pieces. Uh, they managed to pick up, which I think I got on camera and I'll leave it in. Uh, well, I would have left it in because, you know, this is being edited now. Uh, he picked up a whole bundle of PlayStation 3. So I want to say... At least a tub worth of games, the motion sensors, another big carry bag of games, and a PlayStation 3, the slimline newer, well, the newer of the PlayStation 3s. Uh, and I don't think he paid much for it. I want to say I have a fifth, 40 or 50. Uh, but brilliant price for that stuff. And some of the games that he had there are just desirable. And the motion sensors alone are worth quite a bit of money. So he done really well there. But he was going through a couple of carry bags of one reseller, uh, sorry, of one seller that was there. And he had a bundle of uh, Goosebump books. So I went over to see if there's anything else. And I'm not just going to muscle in. You know, he was there for whoever's there first, you know, gets that kind of stuff. Uh, but he did say, he said, look, I've been watching your videos. I know you like the Goosebump books. So I picked up the Goosebump books if you want them. I had a few of the ones that were there, of the UK ones, but I didn't have these kind of American style ones. The lady wanted 25p. They're a little beat up, but they're great for the shelf. Uh, so I will keep these. And thanks a lot for that. I really appreciate it because I do like my Goosebump books. Another book I picked up. So a lady was bringing out all toys, nothing really for myself, but she did pick, uh, she did put this on the table, which is the Pokemon Super Deluxe Essential Handbook, knowing all your facts and stacks, sats even, for over 800 characters. So uh, yeah, she wanted one pound for this. I'll pick that up. It's, it's gonna be worth more than a pound, and it is pulp, pop culture classic now isn't it with all the pokemon cards you know you find the charizard shining you pretty much you might as well say you've retired uh you've sorted your pension fund out you're paying for a house and uh you're living the life so pick that up you would have seen me go through some pokemon cards as well uh nothing too special there in my eyes anyway and then the only other thing i did pass on that i went from so there was a toy story three or is it two, yeah toy, i think it's toy story two or three where they're going to Al's barn and you've got Buzz's dad, the Sorg, is it? The, uh, yeah, so the Toy Story, I believe it's Toy Story, three figure or two, one of them. Uh, but yeah, so the lady wanted two pound. I'm hoping you see this in the video and I'm hoping it's in the video, otherwise I was completely wrong. But I think she said she wanted three pound for it. So I went to buy it 
Uh, no, I put it down, thought about it, because the little tube was broke, but then I looked at it and thought, I can fix that. Uh, then all of a sudden, I've gone back and like just picked out and said, oh, how much? And then she's gone, no, it's five pound. Uh, so as soon as she's put the price out, I just thought, oh, I'm going to leave it. I don't really like that kind of stuff anyway when uh, people do that. And I had that a few times today where a lot of people, like a lot of the sellers didn't have change. So as soon as you go into their store, they were asking, because they always know I bring change. They ask, in my eyes anyway, and I might be overthinking this, they're asking for a bit more money because they wanted uh, a lot of the pound coin. So a day before, guys, and this is just my tip, uh, I've only been caught out once or twice, but I always go to the boot sale and I always, uh, the day before, I always go to the bank and make sure that I get everything in five pound notes and about 20 pound in pound coins. Uh, that's I just do that every every Saturday or if I've got anything left over like I have this week because it hasn't been, uh, there hasn't been a great deal. I've got that change always on me. Uh, so yes, yeah, so you've got that. And then I guess the star buy of today, in my so went to one lady's store she was putting out a few toys i know there was the new kind of style turtle trash kind of car there wasn't interested in that is missing a few bits and pieces however you would have seen me in the video looking and it's a bit wet because it's soaking out there but should have, would have seen me looking at the millennium falcon uh i know it's a newer piece at first i thought it was those magnetized kind of those big little chunky figures spaceship and i looked at it in more detail i thought no it's quite small there's a lot of little, uh, I don't even know what you got to press to pop this up. But yeah, no, in great shape. I looked at it and I knew straight away that it was from uh, the Force Awakens. I don't have this at the moment. I have a few of the loose Force Awakens toys and a lot of them in the packets uh, because I thought I'm just going to collect them when they were coming out. So yeah, you would have seen, I paid the bargain price for this of £2. So £2, Millennium Falcon. Uh, I did get shown how to open this earlier. Right, there you go. So this comes off. And guys, you've even got some of the characters. I guess their weapons are all in there. I did ask if she had any figures and she said no, she didn't have any. But you've got all the bits and pieces. Uh, in my eyes, it looks complete. I don't know that much about this spaceship, but it looks like everything's there. So really happy of it for £2. Then that'll be flying onto the shelf. So that's it for today's video, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Sorry, there wasn't a lot more pieces. As we start going into the later months, going into Chris, uh, well, going into the winter now, the UK kind of boot sale season starts to come to an end. I'll be very, very small in terms of bits and pieces you can get. Uh, I don't know if some of you have noticed today, there was a few resellers in there today. And when you're talking, there is only literally 30 stalls. When we first started out, there's eight. It's a bit of a free-for-all and, you know, first come first serve kind of thing at the moment uh so i'm quite chuffed with the millennium falcon for two pound really happy the playstation 4 games that said i think i've had a good day not spent too much money either so on that note i hope you enjoyed uh please keep watching the channel i've got a charity shop window and sorry about my words today it's so early in the morning the clocks did go back yesterday as well i, I feel tired uh but yes keep watching the video keep watching the channel sorry so there's going to be a charity shop video come in maybe midweek because I did pick up some bits and pieces yesterday uh, which come with some few added extras. Uh, so I will be doing that. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there because I want to get some breakfast. I'm starving and I think it's either McDonald's or a calf sausage sandwich with my name on it. So hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't. Please tick that thumbs up. Keep watching. There's going to be a lot of decent videos coming over the next couple of weeks. Uh, I don't think I'll get my camera into where I'm planning to go next week. So there's kind of like a, a pop culture kind of related auction, uh, which is once a week, I'm being told. So I'm going to pop along because it's only five minutes up the road from me. First, I've heard about it. And it seems like the prices are not that crazy for the stuff at the moment because uh, a lot of people are not going there or it's not kind of where you'd find your regular resellers or buyers of pop culture merchandise. So I'm going to give it a go. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned. Hope you enjoy it. I'm finishing. I'm finishing. I could keep going on. Guys, just very quickly as well. I'm going to start doing on the channel a live chat. It's mostly going to be in a couple of weeks time and trying to get a few other YouTubers to either guest appear on that or be like the same weekly panel. Uh, I just think there's so much to talk about, so much we can kind of go through. And it's really good to keep doing this stuff, especially as we go into the winter months and there's not much coming, especially from UK uh resellers uk 
uh, charity shop picker, pickers, UK boot sales. Uh, so I'm going to start doing a live chat and just speaking to other people, see how they're getting on and what they're picking up. So keep watching. Hope you enjoyed. Enjoy your Sunday. If this is Monday, enjoy your Monday. Enjoy the rest of the week. Take care.